us. We will do worse than Toku people. Biafran group wants Buhari. You see, my dear viewers, on this issue of um, Buhari and his attitude, the attitude he's putting up in the southeast. See, sometimes when you look, when you decide to look into this issue properly, you will see that yes, Buhari have his own issue, his own problem, but. The real people that we're supposed to face before facing worry is our Southeast governors. Yes, our Southeast governors are the cause and are the reasons why we are facing what we are facing now. They are the architect of our problem. They are the ones that first said no that made Buhari to say no. If our Southeast governors has concurred and said, okay, that we are okay with the Eastern Security Network, Buhari wouldn't have turned them down. Do you understand? He wouldn't have. He won't even. You understand? So, our problem is coming from our southeast governors. So, yes, we attack Barry, but let's begin the attack from our southeast governors. Let's begin the attack from them because they are the one that started it, they are the one that gave Barry the voice, they are the one that opened the gates of southeast for soldiers to come in and take charge they are the one if not who are who are the soldiers to 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 storm the southeast and 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 be causing unnecessary crisis they no longer take permission they now come in at will crazy absolutely crazy crazy that is it so yes i concur with the decision of the southeast governors of the of with, this, with the decision of the bnl biafran group i concur with them because um we cannot continue to tolerate this unnecessary um uh, attitude put up by our nigerian army very keep deploying them in battalion keep deploying machines you know causing unnecessary mayhem tension and what have you you see that so and this um, shoot on sight order that he has enforced is another thing that is causing a very serious issue in the southeast so it cannot one can no longer tolerate it. One can no longer tolerate it. So the Southeast and the Biafrans really know what they are challenging and what they are requesting. You understand? And that is it. So with what they have just said, I believe that the present Mumobari. We need to look into the matter because we can no longer rely rely on our on our governors because as it is their minds have been bought all of them all of them their minds has been bought absolutely no doubt about it their minds has been bought you see that so um without time wasting let's quickly look at what has just been said by bnl the biafran nation league bnl has warned that they should at sight order against biafran groups recently issued by the acting inspector general of police akali baba with focus on force its members into full-scale violence 
The acting inspector general gave the order when the visiting Enugu and the River State Potter Court recently. The group warned against the order being carried out in a statement signed by its leader, Prince Will Chimeze Richard, on Thursday. Biafra Nation League warned that the federal government was trying to provoke the Biafra agitators to embark on violence that will result in a declaration of a state of emergency. Federal government want to destabilize the region by ordering the police to shoot at sight. The group said, adding that should the Biafran Socialists start operating like the Boko people, it will be worse than what the government is experiencing in Sambisa Forest. We will not watch the security agencies clamp down on us. The unknown government are sponsoring by politicians for political reasons and have nothing to do with Biafra. Prince will warned that anything should happen to anyone in the Southeast, the president will be held responsible. There will be a high increase in violence should the federal government start extrajudicial killings of Biafran agitators and their supporters in the Southeast and South South. That's it. You see, you don't underrate the voice of the, of the, of the youth. You don't. You understand? You know when the youth say, "Look, this is what is going to happen, my dear." Don't don't joke on joke about it. I always make make reference to that, most especially when it comes to um, challenging issues from um, from the Biafrans. You understand? So I I advise, I advise that a critical look should be looked into this issue concerning what the South Easterners are going through. Because what they are going through at present, I tell you, is nothing to write them about. I tell you, it's not a joke. That is, if only you as a person will want to be sincere. You understand? That if you want to be sincere and not, and not to be biased, on this issue of which you know of which you know because the attitude we are putting up in this country I tell you is the attitude of of I don't care and self-centeredness and that is what our Southeast leaders have been putting up and that is what our Southeast leaders have been doing and it doesn't go well and doesn't play well it doesn't pass the message straight it doesn't at all. You get it. Okay, let me leave you at this corner to come in at least and air your own opinion concerning this issue. So if you are new, click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.